Many of you have asked for a secure browser so that you can give tests on Chromebooks without the chance of students cheating. Uh, you can do that now with Universal Kiosk app. This quick video will show you how to use it in your classroom. Uh, you can use this um, Kiosk app with Edmentum, Google Forms, Study Island, and any other web-based assessment. Um, it's already part of your student's plain local issued Chromebook. If a student is using a Chromebook that they brought in from home, they won't be able to use this particular app. Um, the Universal Kiosk app allows students to access just the assessment, but doesn't give them anywhere to go to a new tab or browse things like Wikipedia or do Google searches. Uh, when they're in this kiosk app, there's a large red indicator bar that will allow you to quickly look around your room and make sure everybody's where they should be. To use this, there are a couple of things you're going to have to do. There's no way for students to copy and paste a URL into this app, so you're going to have to create one. You can use tiny URL, um, bit.ly, any URL shortener that you're used to. If you need help using a URL shortener, uh, let somebody in the tech department know and we'll help you navigate that. Um, you'll need to write that shortened URL up on your board or project it from your teacher machine so that students can see it. Um, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to follow this GIF to the side. You're going to want students to log out of their Chromebooks but not shut them down. And on the login page, down in the bottom left-hand corner is the word apps. And on that, they're going to click on that word apps, and they're going to choose universal kiosk. There are two things in the drop-down menu. The universal kiosk is one. The other one is how they're going to take their error assessment. If that word apps isn't there, that means that they or someone else has wiped their Chromebook or taken away our ability to see what they're doing on that Chromebook. If you notice that, please let us know immediately. They won't be able to take the error test without that, and they also won't be able to take your tests in a lockdown browser without them. All right, so I'm going to show you what students see once they click on that universal kiosk. This is what it'll look like to the students. It's very simple. Um, here where it says HTTP, that's where they're going to type in whatever shortened URL that you've given them. And I've actually created one here for a Google form. And the first couple of times students do this, it might take them a few minutes to type in everything correctly, just like it would a group of adults. And I am no different here. Let's see, once they have their um, URL typed in, their shortened URL typed in, they can click go. And you notice it takes them, this one took me to a Google form that I had created. And there's absolutely nowhere for me to go to go to a new tab. So I can't do a Google search for which is the best flavor of ice cream because there's just nowhere for me to click. Um, once students have completed a quiz, they can click on exit and it will take them back to the login page, um, this blue page right here. If they do that before they click submit, all their answers will go away. So it's not like they can toggle back and forth. So once you're in here, you're in here until you're done. Uh, you can do this with Edmentum and Study Island as well. You just need to make this shortened URL for the login page. And it's very simple if you, there's a, a tutorial that's also in the email that I'm going to send out to you. If you need help, please let somebody from the tech department know. A couple of last things. Once students complete their assessment, once again, they click exit up in that the upper right of that red bar. Then they can log back into their Chromebook using their Eagle Apps login and search and use tabs and the internet just as usual. Uh, once again, if a student clicks exit anytime before clicking submit on a Google form, all their answers will be lost. If your assessment is part in a, of an assessment suite, such as Edmentum or Study Island, the work they finish will be saved, but students will have to log back in. They'll have to get back into the um, Universal Kiosk app and log back in. 
So they're not able to toggle back and forth between a question and searching for the answer. If you need any help with this, please contact me and I will come to your room. If you're giving a test, I'll come to your room and help you set it up. Thanks and have a great evening.